given, that's how we live it. Don't be mad at the system, it's simply how we've existed. I it's your girl D Virgo here, also known as D Virgo Tarot 2222. Coming straight at you from London. Today, I'm going to do Scorpio. It's about 3 o'clock in the morning. But yet again, I'm woken up to finish what I'm started. So I'm going to do Scorpio, which is the last sign left for the week for me to do. I'm going to do a reading, a general reading for Scorpio using my fairy tarot cards. One of my favourite. As usual, not all my messages will resonate with all of you. But for those that it does resonate with, please listen to it to the end, because they're timeless. So it might not resonate today, but it will. And it's not for all of you. There'll be different messages for different people. Take from it what you will, but don't try to make it fit to, for you. If it fits, it fits. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Spirit's only talking to a specific certain amount of you. Messages for Scorpio, please, Spirit. Clear and concise messages for Scorpio. Messages for Scorpio. Oh, Spirit. One sec. So the Prince of Autumn. The Prince of Autumn. This card says that you're dependable, protective, chivalrous, humorous, but it told you to be cautious with wise action. Be meticulous and have attention to detail, but you're also kind to others. This card probably describes you, Scorpio. You're very, you pay attention to every detail. You like things to be in a certain order, a certain way, but things that you do, you do from the heart. This is the beginning of your journey. The Prince of Autumns. It's an earth card. So if this is not you, maybe this is your other person or someone you're gonna meet. They'll be very dependable, very wise, very kind. It just depends. Maybe you've met an earth sign, a Virgo, a Taurus maybe. But this person right here, they're very dependable. They're quite set in their ways actually. So sometimes it can call for you to you know, be a bit flexible, be a bit bend, bend a little, don't always be so frigid. Your first card, the Prince of Winter. Oh. Oh. So your base card, Two of Autumn. This is your overall energy for the month of April. So it says, bring fun into everything you do. Some of you are juggling multiple priorities or multiple jobs, but you're really, really good at multitasking. So this card just shows the busybody that you are. You're out and about, well, not anymore, but you was out and about, but you're probably out and about on social media, hitting up those contacts, making those contacts, networking, but this shows me you're juggling multiple things, whether it's kids, family, whatever it is, you're doing it very well. In the month of April, it's telling you to bring some joy, some fun into it. Not everything's about work. A lot of you like to just focus on work and that's about it, but sometimes you lose sight of what's important. Family's important. At this time, take time to have fun in the house. Bring back your, you know, tap into that childlike part of you. Have some fun. Scorpio, this cord is calling for Scorpions to have some fun. You know, the two of winners, it could be a decision that you have to make, a choices. But this is not what I'm feeling from this card. I'm feeling like you just need to have fun. Don't take things too serious in this month. Yeah, and that everything that you're juggling is going to go fine. Yeah, you're doing it well. You're not overwhelmed. You are stable. Green. Very stable, earth, very grounded, is what I see in these two cards. So whoever this message is for, 
You are a very stable person. Yeah, you have nothing to worry about. Whatever worries you do have, you cause by yourself. Six of Winters, which is like the Six of Swords. So, like I said, most of you have moved away from your problems. You've dealt with them, you've sorted them out. They're not even a factor in your life anymore. But for those of you that you are under worries and problems and stress and financial worries, or maybe problems at home in, a, in your love life or your marriage, you're about to move away from this problem. The universe is about to step in and create a time for you, probably now, to step away, move away. For some of you, you're just going to go, you're going to go travel, which I understand you can't do that now, but it's saying you are. Some of you physically going to take your shit and leave the house, leave the relationship, leave whatever, leave your mum's house, leave wherever it is, you're going to physically get up and you're going to go. It could be your job, it could be whatever you've had enough of, and that's but giving you emotional stress. It's time to put an end to it. School pro, it's time to put an end to it, this card says. I'm going to read it. The Six of Winters says, positive changes are on the way. A welcome relief from troubled times, travelling or relocating. So it's saying that a lot of you have been under stress. Some of you, not a lot, some of you have been under stress. But relief is here. Stress is about to be over. So I don't know what it is. But it's about to be over, Scorpio. Don't worry, just hang in there. For those of you suffering from depression, hang in there. I know it's hard to get through to any mental health workers right now. But hang in there. Ooh, that's a lot of cards, Scorpio. But I have to put them back. Today is only a five card reading for you. So I have to ask Spirit. Don't want to be disobedient, Spirit. But only two more cards for Scorpio. Two more cards. Ooh, Spirit said. Okay, but only two turned over. Actually, only one turned over. This is your base card. But they go back, because we ain't doing that today. That's for a whole nother day. Eight of Springs. Look at that. You're still multitasking, but now it's grown. You are making those peas, baby. Look at that. You are a star. But look at this. Those things that you had, it says some of you have too much on your head and it's causing you stress because there's too much things happening at once but you need to sit down and prioritize write down a plan put them in order what's important do that first some things can wait but like you like the way that you Scorpios think you have to get it done now things need to be done at this moment no it doesn't we don't know how long we're locked down for so take your time to plan meticulously in this time, yeah? Because this is telling me that if you don't put your plan together, those things that you was multitasking, those things that you were juggling and you were multitasking very well, sorry Scorpio, it's this card, your base card. Those things, because this is you, they're going to start to overwhelm you. So I'm telling you right now, start to plan things out. You're trying to do too much in this time. Some things need to be dropped or some people need to be dropped. Some of you trying to just be with all these friends. So I've got all these friends, but half of them don't like you and you know it. So it's time to clean out the closet. Go on Facebook, go on Instagram, start deleting some people. Not everyone needs to be there. You're juggling too much people. You're juggling too much things. For some of you, you're juggling too much men. Juggling too much women. You've got to stop that in this time. You're important. You deserve to be first in someone's life. And vice versa. Prioritise before you become overwhelmed, Scorpio. That's a warning card for you. 
One more card, Spirit, for Scorpio, please. One more card for, for Scorpio. Clear and concise messages for Scorpio in this time. What do they need to know? Thank you, Spirit. You are amazing. Because <laughs> my God, my God. I love when I see this card. So if you follow these steps, follow them. Yeah, follow them because your energy is amazing. You're stable in this time. Doesn't matter what you see outside, you're just stable, you're fine. You're making peace, a lot of you. And for those that's not, start making it. Get on the internet, jump on there, find something to do. Get it cracking. Because I don't know what you're sitting at home doing. It's not holiday time. It really ain't. For some of you, it is because you've only, all you've done is work. But for those of you that haven't, time to get your shit together. The internet's calling you. Find your passion. Start sharing it with the world. Because what does this card say? The world, baby. Yeah? The universe is set to give you the world. It says a brilliant success. Number 21. A brilliant success. The freedom to go in any direction. A journey that is now complete. So, so yes, some of you are going to be travelling. And you're going to be travelling the motherfucking world. Because you're going to be so successful in whatever it is you're doing, whatever it is you're juggling, you're going to be. But you need to focus because you're going to be overwhelmed if you don't learn to share responsibility, delegate, get someone to help with the workload. If you're getting, if you're growing business online, get someone to come in and help. You can't do it all yourself. The world's going to be at your feet. This is not just April, even though the reading says April. It's not just for Scorpio, even though the reading just says Scorpio. If you find yourself here listening to this message, then it's for you. The universe is waiting to give you the world, Scorpio. You have your shit together. I really have no advice to give you other than plan. Plan before this shit happens and it becomes overwhelming for you and you start to lose. Because right now you're winning. Scorpio, you're winning. So with that, there's nothing more for me to really say but to tell you to stay safe in this time. Stay home. Sending you love and light from D Virgo Tarot. Oh, we gonna play now, ready for the show. I'm about to take down, you already know. Get the fuck out of my face now, yeah, you got it.